Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the channel. My name is Christy and I'm in New South Wales, Australia. And today we're gonna to look at what I picked up yesterday in the reject shop. So our channel is all about cooking, cleaning, housework, DIYs, probably shopping hauls and products reviews, all those things that will help you out around your own home. Yeah, now I don't usually do non-grocery shopping hauls, but I was so excited about what I picked up on clearance in the reject shop yesterday that I thought I'd share it with you. Now, earlier when I'd been in there, I did see these baskets and they were $29. Here's the large one for the large. They're a little bit flexible and they kind of got the white rope with the thing. Now I wanted something like this because when I come in from in outside, I've often got silks, hammocks, hoops, aerial equipment things, and it's easier for me to just chuck it into one big basket at near the back door and keep it together. But the other reason why I love these, I don't have enough of these, but I have something similar, is somewhere to keep blankets and pillows and extra things like that in the lounge room, particularly in winter. I like to be very snuggly and have lots of extra blankets and things. So I think they're great for that too, because they're flexible. Now, when I went in there, also easy to pick up and tote around. So you might even want to use that as a little laundry hamper in your bedroom or something. Anyway, saw these $10 down from $29. So I grabbed the large. Now the medium, I wasn't sure of the price, but I can see that it's also scanned at $10. So $10 as well for the medium. And I'm sure the sign said $7, but it's scanned at $8 for the small, which isn't much smaller actually. You see, it's still a pretty decent kind of size. You definitely fit a few cushions in there or whatever you like. I might use this for cat toys. Um, and they all nest together quite neatly. So there's all three of them there, small, medium, large. So that was $28 it cost me for all three instead of the $29 I almost paid just for the one. So I was pretty excited about that. Let me pop them down there. While I was in the reject shop, I also picked up some paint brushes, small artist brushes for a little project that I'm working on. I had full size paint brushes, but they were just too big. It wasn't working out for me for the intricate bits. These were $3.50 in the reject shop. I have no idea if that's a good price or not. I don't usually buy things like that. And I also grabbed, although I'm realizing now it probably wasn't the best price, I need some photo frames. So we moved here almost four months ago now and it's still not feeling like home. I think a part of that is because I haven't really unpacked a lot of stuff, haven't got things how I'd like them yet, but also we have no family photos up or anything like that. So I just wanna start adding some more personal touches to the house. And this is for the eight by 10 photo, but it's an 11 by 14 frame. And I just got it in the white and there's the back. So it has to be hung on the wall. This was $12. So for comparison, I know it's cheaper than Big W, but is it really better than Kmart? I also grabbed one in Kmart through the week, $6.50. They look very similar. The only difference is the Kmart one has the stand, which I don't want. I want a wall hang it. Um, so I'll rip that off. And I don't know that the hanging hooks are quite as secure, but they're pretty much the same thing. If you're after a cheap, eight by 10 frame, I'd stick with Kmart. I also got some things for outdoors. So let's go take a look. What I actually went into the reject sh shop for was just another one of these lined hanging planters because I wanted something to match the one that I've already got hanging up. And that was $7.95. But while I was there, I happened to notice they had back in this pattern of the large fiber clay planter and this is the flower pattern this is a big one it's 37 centimeters this is the pattern there now last time i went in there to get this one they only had a smaller size so i do actually have my lavender over here in the same pot a little bit smaller and i believe they're up to 24 dollars now for the medium one 
And of course, I've got a large one. I had some gorgeous orange liliums in here, but we had some wind over the weekend. It's blown my petals away. And that's the wave design. So that's the same size. I also grabbed three more of these. These are just the um, planter boxes, but they come with the little trays and they're $6 each. Now I use them around the garden for herbs and things, but also found that they're quite a good size for my little lettuce seedlings, which I just started from seed. So the total of all that reject shopping was $101.30. So, yeah, it was a lot more than I expected to spend since I went in for one planter pot. But I'm really happy with everything that I got, particularly these baskets. I'm absolutely in love with them. And, um, and I'm really glad that I managed to get my clay um, planter pot as well in the floral design. So, anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll leave me a comment below and tell me what you like to go into the reject shop for. I don't usually do non-grocery things, so if this is something that you'd like to see more of, then yeah, let me know in the comments. Thanks again. Bye.